We now head to Cocos Island, where one National Geographic grantee documents the real danger lurking in these shark-infested waters. Known as one of the world's top scuba diving destinations, Costa Rica's Cocos Island National Park boasts a higher concentration of sharks than perhaps any other place on the planet, earning it the nickname Shark Island. But even in this remote refuge, sharks are vulnerable to a greater predator. Overfishing is depleting ocean resources worldwide. So commercial fishermen travel from as far away as Japan to fish near Cocos. Some venturing unlawfully inside protected park waters, most tragically, to harvest shark fins. The enormous market for the delicacy has decimated several shark species and alarmed those protecting Cocos National Park. At the invitation of the Costa Rican government, National Geographic grantee Ben Horton came to Cocos Island to help with advocacy efforts. I went out there with my brother to film a documentary for the Costa Rican government and we saw the poaching going on and decided that it was something that we needed to get out into the public's eye. Ben is working alongside park rangers on a documentary which will eventually follow the illicit shark fin trade from Cocos Island to the Asian markets. Early in the morning, the Coast Guard gives chase to an illegal fishing boat. When the driver refuses to stop, a guard fires a warning shot into the air. But the boat evades the authorities. Eventually, the pursuit is abandoned, and the poachers escape. If they catch one tuna, they're set for a couple of months. You know, it's good money for them. And that's kind of why they'll they'll fish in the park, that's why they'll risk it, is because the likelihood of them actually getting something is so much greater close to that, close to Cocos Island. So even if the person has a ticket, they're gonna be out fishing again the next day. When not patrolling, the brothers immerse themselves in the unfolding drama of an underwater world. I was at a place called Alcyon where the, the hammerheads were just schooling around us and there were hundreds of them and all of a sudden, I'm, I'm turned around, I'm filming, or I'm photographing my brother, and he, he points behind me, and I turn just in time to see, you know, a dozen or, or more hammerhead just rush right at me and come over me. I'm shooting with a fisheye lens, and these things almost hit me right in the face. These predators are at the top of a delicately balanced food chain. Without them, the fragile marine ecosystem of Cocos may crumble. signaling an even greater worldwide crisis. Cocos Island's probably the last place you're actually gonna see the sharks disappearing because they come from all over the ocean to congregate on Cocos Island. When we start seeing them disappear from Cocos Island, that's when we know that we're really in the last stages and they're not gonna be around much longer.